Atlas is emitting energy and this has been confirmed through an official astronomical telegram. There is something very strange and bizarre about this discovery. The central question is whether this energy emission would be evidence that it is an artificial alien artifact. It's very difficult to distinguish whether the brightness of an object in space is reflection of sunlight, like our moon reflecting solar light, or if the object has its own energy emission. Avi Loeb had said that 3i Atlas could have its own light source, and now it has been confirmed that it is emitting x-rays, a discovery that completely changes our understanding of the object. There is a fundamental difference. Light can be both emitted by an artificial object and reflected by the sun. X-rays cannot be reflected. If the sun emits energy at all levels of the electromagnetic spectrum, X-ray energy cannot be reflected. Therefore, if X-rays are coming from Atlas, it's not from the sun, it's from Atlas itself. The confirmation came through an official astronomical telegram, the most rigorous channel of scientific astronomy. The detection process was absolutely meticulous and left no room for error or dubious interpretation. First, specialized telescopes were pointed at the region where 3i Atlas was located. There's already a background music of X-rays in space, neutron stars, black holes, distant galaxies naturally emit this radiation. Second, scientists created a detailed map of all known X-ray sources in that specific region of the sky. They identified each neutron star, each black hole, each background galaxy that could be contributing to the signal. Third, they mathematically removed all these known contributions. It's like removing noise from a recording to hear only the voice of interest. What remained after this rigorous scientific filtering was a perfectly clear, unequivocal, and unambiguous signal coming directly from 3i Atlas. The images of 3i Atlas show characteristics very different from all known comets. A razor at the front of the object, this doesn't compare to anything natural ever seen in space. The trail behind is different from traditional comets. It has practically no ionized tail, only a dust trail. It can be called tailless compared to other comets. This distinctive frontal morphology suggests something designed not randomly sculpted by natural processes. While traditional comets display dual tails, one of dust and another ionic, 3i Atlas defies this fundamental characteristic, becoming a tailless comet compared to its peers. There is the possibility that the frontal jet is a trail of probes it is leaving in the solar system, as raised by Avi Loeb. Scientists try to explain 3i Atlas as a depleted comet, spent, dry, without material. This would be the explanation for its low activity. However, a fundamental and irreconcilable contradiction arises. If it is a dry and depleted object, it shouldn't generate x-rays. X-rays in comets are only generated when there is intense cometary activity. It needs a lot of material and gases to generate x-rays through charge exchange between solar wind ions and gases ejected by the nucleus. But 3i Atlas is generating x-rays which completely contradicts the explanation of being a dry object. This contradiction annihilates the attempt to classify it as a depleted comet and forces us to consider alternatives that mainstream science prefers to avoid. The detection process was rigorous. They pointed at 3i Atlas, mapped all expected background x-radiation for that region of the sky, filtered known sources, neutron stars, black holes, galaxies. What remained was clearly coming from 3i Atlas. The X-ray signal was perfectly clear and unequivocal. The detection was not an accident or dubious reading. It was a meticulous process where all cataloged X-ray sources were identified and filtered. There was no room for error or attribution to external sources. The study openly admits that the model fails to explain the detected residual. The energy suggests presence of elements like carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen, again contradicting the theory of being gas poor. These elements, essential for life as we know it, contradict the theory of a depleted comet. Where do these elements come from? And why are they being activated to emit x-rays in a supposedly inert object? X-rays cannot be reflected, only emitted. In the electromagnetic spectrum, visible light is just a small fraction. X-rays penetrate matter used in medical exams. If 3i Atlas emits x-rays, 
it may be emitting in other frequencies as well. The X-ray emission alone is already a game changer. They reside in a part of the electromagnetic spectrum far beyond our small band of visible light. That's why we use them in medical exams, but I, they have the ability to penetrate substances opaque to common light. Comets that emitted X-rays in the past, like Hiakotake, had absurd cometary activity. They were comet explosions with typical textbook comet characteristics. 3i Atlas doesn't fit this category. Comet Hyakutake in 1996 produced impressive X-ray emission, but it was a comet with absurd activity, a true explosion of material with a kilometer long tail and intensely active nucleus. Its emissions were perfectly explainable by models due to its massive gas release. 3i Atlas, on the other hand, with its relatively calm appearance and absence of significant ionic tail, simply doesn't fit this category. It's an X-ray emission without the characteristics of a textbook comet. To aggravate the mystery, infrared observations show that 3i Atlas is surprisingly cold. If outgassing is causing trajectory changes, if jets of sublimating ice are pushing this object off its predicted course, then where is the heat? Where is the infrared glow that should accompany all this activity? The object is very quiet in the infrared spectrum for the movement it's exhibiting. It's like watching an engine move a car without hearing the engine running or feeling heat coming from the exhaust. The effect is there, but the mechanism is silent. X-rays have very specific properties. They penetrate matter, that's why we use them in medical exams. They're in a part of the electromagnetic spectrum far beyond our small band of visible light. If 3i Atlas emits in X-rays, it may be active in many other frequencies we haven't detected yet. It's like discovering someone is speaking in ultrasonic frequencies. You realize there's much more communication happening than you imagined. Let's put together all the pieces of this impossible puzzle. Own X-ray emission. Something that requires specific energetic processes, unique visual structure, the frontal razor that doesn't exist in nature. Fundamental contradiction, classified as dry, but behaving as active, precise trajectory to Jupiter, as if it knew exactly where it wants to go, non-gravitational acceleration, course adjustments that seem intentional, each anomaly alone could have a far-fetched explanation. But altogether, the statistical probability of so many coincidences becomes so low that it's more likely we're seeing something intentionally designed. Each of these anomalies, in isolation, could perhaps find an explanation within the limits of natural astrophysics. But when we consider all of them simultaneously, the statistical probability becomes so infinitesimally low that we're forced to consider a radical alternative. If 3i Atlas has its own energy source, if it emits radiation that penetrates matter, if it maintains impossible structures for natural objects, what kind of phenomenon are we really observing? The X-ray discovery isn't just another anomaly, it's the most solid evidence that we're dealing with something that challenges our understanding of natural objects. Because X-rays don't lie. They can't be reflected. They can't be light tricks. If they're being emitted, it's because there's an active energy source inside the object. There's the fascinating possibility that the frontal jet is a trail of probes it's leaving in the solar system, as raised by Avi Loeb. This theory gains credibility when we consider the mathematics and physics make sense for this explanation. The frontal structure has no natural precedence. The object's behavior suggests artificial intelligence. Loeb argues that physics allows such a mechanism to work, especially for a mothership ejecting small probes to explore the system. The singular shape is perfectly explained as a result of controlled ejection of these probes, or even part of a propulsion system. And you, what do you think? Are we witnessing the most important discovery in human history, or has our science not yet evolved enough to understand extreme natural phenomena? The X-ray emission from 3i Atlas may be definitive proof that we are not alone in the universe, and that maybe, just maybe, someone out there has technology we can barely imagine. Leave your theories in the comments! If you want to follow every development of this story that may be changing our understanding of our place in the cosmos, like, share, and subscribe. The universe has just shown us that reality can be much more extraordinary than we ever dreamed.